this is the fifth recording of this two minute long tutorial thing so this is my last recording and if it if i say or do anything stupid i'll just leave it because it's warm outside and i need to turn back on my air conditioner and I can't have it turned on while recording because I don't want to hurt your ears. Anyways, um, the whole point of this is to show you a little trick for Clip Studio Paint, which is basically how you can shade uh, all your colors without merging them into one layer. Because um, in Paint Tool Sci, there was this handy thing where you could create a layer and clip it to a folder. So. Uh, you can you could um let's take a different color here you could just shade without um without worrying about shading next to the person if you want to shade things that like global shade like cast shadow or something that has to affect multiple colors this is uh, unfortunately it doesn't work in uh, clip studio paint as you can see but there is a workaround what you want to do is basically duplicate the folder that contains all your different colors or color layers, merge that folder, combine selected layer, then create another layer, not another folder, brain, thank you, clip that to the merged layer you just, uh, you just made. Uh, choose the color white, fill that layer, and then merge it down. So you have one layer that's all your colors merged together, but in pure white. I've already done that here. And what you do now is set this layer, this white layer, to multiply. Because what this does, it makes the white invisible, which is awesome because now you can clip all your shading to the white layer given that you want the shading to multiply if you don't then this is not gonna work but you can now clip all your shading to the white layer and it will shade all your colors without affecting the background or whatever 